Oh, isn't he so cute? He's adorable. Oh, he still smells like a new baby. Oh, I'm gonna miss when the smell goes away. <laughs> oh, he's gonna save so many lives. What is the uh other one, though? Uh, I'm not sure. Huh. I wonder where their parents are. Well, 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 if it isn't Miss Cosmic and Captain Shock, what are you two doing near my child? Fire Antony. That's my name. Don't burn it out. <laughs> that baby is yours? And I'm guessing by the looks of it, you have that other ugly child next to you, huh? Don't insult my child. Oh yeah, Cornball? What are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna shock you. Ow! Cosmic, take the child. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh, this town is so stupid. And I hate going to school. I don't want to go to school on Monday. I know I'm getting these new powers and everything. I want to test them out, but I don't want to do this. This is so dumb. Bolton, everything okay in here? I heard some loud noises. Yeah, everything's fine, Dad. I don't know. I'm just really angry. I don't know why, and I don't want to be a superhero anymore, okay? Colton, you were born different. You have special powers that give you a responsibility. This is your destiny. Yeah, but what if it's not what I want to do? I never asked for these powers. Colton, this is what we do. This is what we have to do with these powers. Yeah, I know. You tell me that all the time. I get it, but I don't really want to help anybody today, okay? I'm just not in the mood, and I don't want to do anything. I just want to be by myself. Well, that's okay, but, you know, eventually we have to get out there and help those that don't have what we have. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I just don't get it. I don't like these powers either. They're so destructive, and I can't control them. Well, eventually, with practice, uh, you'll be able to control your powers. Yeah, but I don't want to control them. I don't want to have them at all. This is just so dumb. Colton, calm down. Sorry, Dad. I'm just, uh, just so angry all the time. This is so dumb. Look at me. You need to relax. It's okay. Fine, whatever. I'm just going to go for a walk. <laughs> oh, this is incredible. This is awesome. <laughs> Kate, Kate, what's wrong? Um, I, I don't know. I just, I feel bad doing all this. You feel bad doing this? Are you kidding? Well, I mean, it's not fair to the people. I mean, why do we have to be hurting them? Gade, you know you sound like a big baby right now, huh? You sound like a loser. That's no way to be. You're the son of a supervillain. Come on, Dad. I mean, look at them. <laughs> I know. They're crying, and it's pathetic, and it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, their house is burning down. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Dad, this isn't fair. I don't want to do this anymore. Are you giving up? My son would never give up. Understand? And what do you think your mother would do if she saw you being a baby like this? She'd be so disappointed. You're right. Uh, I'm sorry. All right. That's more like it. Now go cause some chaos. Okay, I'll go blow up a car or something. Oh my gosh, what am I doing here? Well, we're taking you to school so uh, you can learn how to use your powers correctly. That's right, son. You'll be able to control those flames. So what? This is some kind of lame superhero school? Oh, uh, it's not lame. It's more than that. You'll be able to be stronger and get better at what you do. Yeah, well, I don't want to go to this school. It looks dumb, and I hate learning. Colton, you have to do this. This is for your own good. Yeah, but I don't want to do it. I don't want to do anything I don't want to do. Why don't you guys just understand that? <gasps> Colton! This is why you need to go. You need to learn how to control this. You can't just be shooting fireballs everywhere. Yeah, but what if I like shooting fireballs everywhere? It's kind of fun. Colton, please. We're just trying to help you, and maybe just give it a shot and don't shoot it down just yet, okay? Ugh, fine. This is so dumb. Okay, I love you. Have a good day at school. Well, Cade, this is it. Uh, what do you mean? Look, son, your powers are kind of useless, so we're sending you here to maybe learn something that's better. Yeah, your powers are absolutely pathetic. Nothing like ours, and not worthy of being a supervillain. So, I'm going to school? 
Uh, yeah, this is why we brought you here. You're going to school. I mean, that's awesome. I can, you know, actually learn something. You're actually excited to be here. Well, yeah. I, I can meet other kids and see what powers they have and, and, and learn from them and see what they do. Ugh, this is so disgusting. School is dumb, and this is the worst place to be. If you were a good supervillain, you wouldn't even need to be here. But you're so pathetic that you need the help. Exactly. Me and your father, we never went to school. Uh, okay. Do, do you think I'll be stronger afterwards? You better be, son. If not, we're going to have to have a serious conversation about your future. We might just leave you behind. Um, okay. Well, uh, I guess I'll go. Uh, see you later. Hello, students, and welcome to my class. Today, I'm going to be teaching you about controlling your powers. Puh, this is so stupid. Well, we don't use that language in this class. We don't use stupid. You can uh, maybe say something different to express your feelings here. Fine. Let's say this class is lame, it's dumb, and I don't want to be here. You should just let us out early. Hey, you leave her alone. We're in school. We can actually learn how to control our powers and, and we can be heroes. <laughs> yeah, right. Heroes. Heroes are dumb too. Who wants to be a hero? <gasps> I want to be a hero. Well, of course you do, because you're a total lame nerd. I am not. Students, students, uh, let's calm down. Let's not, uh, let's not break out into a fight or anything. Oh, a fight? Yeah, actually, that sounds like a really good idea. You want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, dum-dum? Bring it on, stinky face. Oh, that's... Both of you, to the principal's office, now! Boys, I am very, very disappointed in the two of you. It is very clear in the rules that there are no unauthorized use of powers against other students in classes. Of course, unless supervised by a professional. I'm sorry, but I have no other choice. You two are suspended. What? No way! I hate repeating myself, so I will say it one more time. You two are suspended until you can learn to be proper heroes. Now, get out of the school. All your fault, loser. My fault? You're the one that threw the fireball at me. Yeah, but I could have been zapped by that stupid lightning power you have. Ugh, yeah, I'm so tired of seeing fire everywhere. It reminds me of my parents. You, your parents have fire power? Yeah, they use it all the time. They throw it at people and cars. It's, it's so hot and annoying. <laughs> that actually sounds kind of cool. It's really weird though. Your powers kind of remind me of my parents too. Really? Yeah, they've got some kind of energy thing or whatever. They try to explain it to me, but I just don't listen because they're so lame. Yeah, I'm just tired of having to use my power for all this destruction. It's just, there's no point in it. Yeah, sometimes I don't mean to use my powers. It's just when I get angry, it just comes out. Yeah, right? Yeah, and it's so annoying. I just want to be left alone sometimes. Ugh, me too. I will say though, I mean, yeah, your powers are kind of lame, but I mean, they could be kind of cool. You just need to practice more and learn how to use them. Yeah, and if you don't use yours as much, it'd be pretty cool too. Yeah, I'll try my best to keep a lid on it. It's just dumb. I don't know. Man, I'm so hungry. Do you want to, like, go get food or something? Yeah, you like pizza? Is the principal of our school totally lame? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Colton, there you are. We got a call from your principal saying that you started a fight with someone and you're already suspended? Yeah, I didn't mean to do it on purpose. I just got mad. He was, he was being annoying. Colton, what did I tell you about controlling your powers? I thought you could do better here, but obviously not. When we get home, you're going to be grounded for a month. No electronics, no snacks, no candy, no nothing. No, stop. I don't want to be grounded. I didn't do anything wrong. I really don't know where we went wrong, Colton. Your powers are so destructive. They're nothing like ours. Yeah, that's weird. There was some kid in school and he had powers exactly like yours too. Colton, lots of kids has powers like us. Lots of kids have similar powers. Don't change the subject though. You're still in trouble. Whatever, it was worth it. <sighs> Colton, you're starting to sound like a villain. I can't believe that idiot kid got my son suspended from school. 
This was his last chance to become a supervillain. Now it's ruined. I'm gonna deal with this. Shock resident, fire Antony. <laughs> Captain Shock, of course, of course it would be you. It's been a while. Why are you here? Well, apparently your dumb child got my son suspended from school. You're the father? So this is your fault. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. My son wouldn't cause a problem. He's pathetic like you. Enough of this. I'm not going to let you get away this time. <laughs> Try and stop me, loser. Dad, stop. Son, get out of here. Dad, who is this guy? This is Fire Antony, my arch enemy. I've known him for a long time. That's right, loser. Now run inside and cry like a little baby before I blast you with fire. Dad, he's got my powers. Y yes he does. Wait, your son has firepower? Yeah, he, he's been losing control. We sent him to school, but yeah, he's, he's got fire blasts. Well, it's very weird. My son is weak and pathetic and has powers similar to yours. Isn't that funny? All those years ago, Wait a minute. Could it be? Dad, what's going on? Isn't it obvious? You're supposed to be my son, and my son is supposed to be theirs. What? No. No way. Years ago at the hospital, there was a fight between Captain Shock and myself. We were both there to pick up our children, and it seems as though our children got switched. No. No way. That's, that's not true. I is it, Dad? It... It sounds like he's right. No, no way. This isn't right. This, so you're not even my real dad? That would explain why your powers are stronger and different than mine. And it explains why my sons are weak and pathetic like yours. <laughs> no, no, this is so confusing. I, I can't deal with this. Kate, are you here? Hey, hey, Colton. What's up? Oh, man. Dude, something just happened, and and I need to talk to you about it. Um, uh, okay. Is everything okay? Well, you know how we were talking about earlier about how weird our powers are? Yeah. Well, I guess your dad came over my house and was starting to fight with my dad, and it seems as though we were switched at birth, Cade. What? Yeah, you actually belong with my parents, and it makes sense. I mean, you're a really nice guy, and my parents are huge superheroes, and you guys have similar powers, too. And you do have the same fire blast like my father. And not to mention, I'm kind of angry, and I don't know, it just makes sense. Well, what should we do? Well, I love my parents and all, but I mean, it was always a struggle. They just never really understood me. Maybe we should just go live with our birth parents. Yeah, that could work. I mean, my father, or uh, Fire Antony... He always wanted to burn cars, and I, I didn't want to. Yeah, I guess it seems as though I was meant to be a supervillain, and you were meant to be a superhero, and we just got the wrong parents. This is really heavy, Cade. Yeah, sure is. Does this mean that we can't be friends? No, no, I still want to be your friend. Maybe we can kind of make our parents get along as well or something. Yeah, you know what? We don't need to be heroes or villains. We, we could just all get along. Yeah, it sounds like a better idea. Well, I guess we have to get everybody together and talk this out. I'll just uh, go ta ask Fire Antony. I know how he is with his temper. All right, both kids are finally ready for pickup. Hopefully the parents will be in soon. Doctor, doctor, hey, hey, how's it going? Hello there, how can I help you? We are here to pick up our child. We are so excited to raise him. Of course, of course. Oh no, sweetheart, we got an alert to uh get our food that just got delivered. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not superheroes at all, we, we're casual people. Oh my gosh, oh, this isn't good. We gotta get out of here fast. Here, this baby will do. Let's go. Wait. Uh, okay. I sure hope that was the right kid. Oh, man, this hospital is so confusing. Wh who designed this place? I don't know. It's like a maze or something. And the service around here is terrible. 
terrible. No one asked me if I wanted lemon water at all. I am so sorry about that. Truly, very sorry. Yeah, whatever. Listen, we came here to get our baby and go home, all right? Which which one's our kid? Uh, I, I believe this is your kid. Great. Yep, looks like him. All right, let's go. Have a great day now. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Dad, what is going on? Mason, I'm sorry. I have no idea. I don't know why your powers haven't come in yet. This is stupid. I want my superpowers. I've been training so hard. Yeah, I know. You've dedicated a lot of time to training and your studies, but I'm sorry, son. I, I can't explain it. Baby, you don't have superpowers. But I come from a superhero family. Why wouldn't I have superpowers? Uh, Mason, I'm sorry. I'm not a scientist. I don't know what to do. Honestly, you're a whole lot smarter than me. You'd probably figure it out faster. Yeah, I am smarter than you. Mason, whatever, Dad. I'm just frustrated, that's all. I know, son, I know. Don't worry. Even if you don't have superpowers, everything's gonna be fine. Easy for you to say. You have superpowers. Oh, Mason, don't be like that. Shut up. I'm sick of this. I'm done training for for the day. Okay, Mason. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, whatever, Dad. What a great first day at school. It went really well, and I made a couple of friends, too. I just hope tomorrow's as good as today was. You know, I think moving to Brookhaven was actually a great idea. Oh, man, that guy's out of control. Hey, stop! Stop! What's going on? Am I flying? No way. No way. Is this real? Do I have superpowers? Oh, I wonder if I have any other abilities. What if I do this? Whoa! Oh, this is awesome. I have to tell someone about it. Well, if I want to be a superhero, I got to talk to someone who knows how to do the right thing. You know, someone who can solve crime and bring justice. I think this is a good place to start. Um, excuse me, sir. Oh, hi, y'all. Hi, my name is Asif Rupus. How can I help you today? Hi. Um, I wanted some advice. Okay, I got plenty of advices for you, y'all. Okay, first of all, never put extra hot sauce on top of guacamole, okay? It ruins the flavor. Oh, no, 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 not that kind of advice. I just got superpowers, and I was wondering if you could help me out with it. Okay, yes, that's fine. I had, like, superpowers a couple times before, yes. Wait, you had superpowers before? Uh, yes, obviously that means you is not subscribed to this channel, and you need to subscribe, because that's a vigilman that happened a while ago, y'all. You better get caught up. Yeah, I need to. Um, well, what can you help me with? Well, I could teach you very simple things, okay? Like how to stop criminal and how to be a hero in general. That sounds great. Oh, my goodness. Wait, what does that mean? Okay, that means that there's a robbery going on, y'all. Okay, if you want to be a hero, now is the dom. We got to test it out. Okay, we got to go. <laughs> This is working out perfectly. Finally, not a disappointment anymore, especially to my family. Do you have any idea how hard it is to grow up with superhero parents? They've been pushing me so hard. Mason, you're gonna get your powers soon. Mason, you have to be patient. Well, I've had it. Now I'm sick of them. I might not have superpowers, but I have a super brain. Yeah, and I created this ray gun all on my own. Now I'm gonna prove that I'm worthy of something. Not too bad for my first crime. Everything's working out pretty good. Okay, I'm here to stop you, y'all. What? <laughs> yeah, right. Officer Rufus, what do we do? Well, burn your moms. It's pretty symptoms, okay? We gotta stop this criminals from doing whatever crimes he be doing. Okay, criminal, you be going to jail now, y'all. I don't think so. Should I use my blast power? Um, yes. Ow! Oh my goodness, look, you just stopped the crime. Congratulations, Benjamins. I did it. I'm a real superhero now. Okay, slow your roll. You're not there yet, y'all. Mom, mom, guess what? I have superpowers. What? What did you just say to me? Superpowers? Yeah, I just discovered them. I don't even know what all the powers are yet, but I can fly and do lots of crazy things. It's so cool, isn't it? Oh, this doesn't sound normal at all. Should we take you to the doctor or something? Why do you think you can fly? That's just nonsense. No, I'm being serious. I thought you'd think it's really cool. What's gotten into you? I, uh, I just am really excited. You know, I stopped a crime today. I thought you'd be proud of me. No, not really. Hey, go get the door. Make yourself useful. I gotta go make some tea. Hi, y'all. Oh, hi, Officer Rufus. I hope you're having a nice day today. I accidentally has a little surprise for you, Burnjamums. You do? What is it? Here, this is your first superhero costumes, y'all. Yes. Is you not 
the most excited, ma'am. Oh my gosh. A super suit for me? Uh, if you're going to be a superhero, you got to have a cool costumes, y'all. Wow. Thank you, Officer Rufus. This is great. Yes. And now I got to teach you what it's like to be a superhero. Oh, awesome. That's going to be so cool. It'll be great to have you as my mentor. That's right. Yes. Mason, I cannot believe you. Really? Can't believe what? I can't believe that you would be caught doing this. And we had to get our son out of jail. You're supposed to be a hero. We are just so devastated. We taught you how to be a fantastic hero. And you do this? What has gotten into you, Mason? Why have you been acting so terrible? It's almost like you're turning into a villain. Yeah, well, maybe I am. <laughs> I can't believe this. So disrespectful. We will not raise a super villain. We've got a lot going on here. We've got to focus on taking care of you on top of saving the town and also focusing on this new mysterious hero that just emerged. Why can't you be more like him? He seems wonderful. I am so sick of you two. You're the worst parents ever. I might not have powers, but I have this. I've had enough of this. Let's see how this town deals without its superheroes to save the day. <laughs> now you're part of my evil plan. Welcome to it, mom and dad. Woo-wee, Bergerini, I gotta say, you have some pretty cool superpowers, y'all. Thanks, Officer Rufus, and thank you for helping me. Of course, I locks train them with superheroes because it's fun. And honestly, you look great in that superhero costumes too, y'all. I told you that this would be fashionable. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, the suit looks awesome. It's great, thank you. Okay, I is not new to this whole thing, y'all. What be going on, Bergerini? You look sad. What happens? It's nothing. It's just my parents won't really accept me. You know, they think I'm a freak now that I have superpowers. Oh my goodness, that is so sad. Okay, let me tell you the truth real quick, okay? First of all, people think I'm a freak all the time, y'all, okay? But I don't listen to them because they don't madams. Only thing that madams is what they going on in my head, which isn't a whole lot, y'all. Yeah, I guess you're right, but it's just so hard, you know? I want my parents to accept me and, and support me. The only supports you need is your sales. You gotta look inside and push yourself through, okay? You to hear them now, y'all. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh my goodness, what be going on? My phone be going wild, y'all. Oh, is this Shames texting me? Oh no! Burn your mums! There be some dramas going on, y'all. What is it? What's going on? Well, apparently the superheroes in town is missums, and also there'd be a lot of commotions going on in the warehouse. We be called to investigate. Well, what do we do? Okay, well, this is what's gonna happen. You gonna go check it out, and I'm gonna go get the burrito, y'all. Do you think I'm ready for it? Don't worry, you had plenty of trainums. You be tough, and you be taking care of this crime. It's dumb for you to be a superhero, Benjamin. Now go say to die. Okay, I can do this. Yes, and I can go get a burrito. Yes. You're never gonna underestimate me now, are you? Mason, please. You have to stop this. I'm not gonna stop until I'm a hero. Mason, come on. Stop. You don't have to do this. We can talk about it. We're not gonna talk about anything. I'm gonna finally take your powers from you and give them to myself. That way I'm gonna finally have superpowers and I'll be the hero I've always been meant to be. You're starting to really sound like a villain. Please, please stop. Sorry, mom and dad. It's too late now. Stop right there. Oh my gosh, why is everybody so annoying? What are you doing here? I'm here to stop you. What you're doing isn't right. It's not too late to let them go. You don't understand anything. You're that dumb new superhero. You just get lucky and have powers. I don't have them. And I want powers more than anything in the world. And nobody is gonna stop me. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to. No! Are you two okay? You saved us, thank you. It's my duty as a hero. What a hero you are. I've gotta say, it's actually kind of funny. 3D, don't you think this guy kind of looks like my father? He does, and you guys kind of have the same powers. This is crazy. Can't be a coincidence, can it? No, I don't think it is. Wait, what are you saying? Well, Benjamin, I can't believe it. You actually are our biological child. This is crazy. I mean, I guess it makes a lot more sense. I'm just so glad I found my actual family. I feel so much better and so much more accepted. I can't wait to be just like you guys. Well, it seems like you've got pretty great superpowers, that's for sure. <laughs> Welcome to the family, son. Now, where is your new brother? Mason, get down here. Yeah? I want to introduce you to your new brother. Benjamin, this is Mason. Mason, this is Benjamin. Yeah, I already know this guy he stopped my plan yeah uh sorry about that no you don't need to be sorry i'm the one that needs to be sorry 
I just let everything get to my head, you know? I just didn't want to feel like a letdown to you, Dad. Mason, no matter what, you're always going to be my son. And you're not a letdown. Really? You mean it? Of course I mean it. Sure, you don't have superpowers. So what? You are insanely smart. You invented so many cool things. That's your real superpower. Wow, yeah. I guess you're right. Hey, uh, Benjamin, I was actually thinking, you know, I could probably make you some pretty cool boots or something, you know, to really help control your flying. That would be great. Yeah, really? You, you want to work together? Of course. You're awesome. Well, oh, thanks. You're kind of awesome, too. <laughs> oh, what fun. What fun. The pool is now destroyed and no one can enjoy it. Oh, I love the chaos. Stop right there. It's over for you, Phantom Clown. Oh, if it isn't Winter Dash and Speed Flame. My two best friends. Hello. <laughs> I'm so sorry, friends, but there's no way you're going to stop me. Phantom Clown, you never learn, do you? Enough of this! I've had enough! Yeah, and so have we! Take this! No! Whoa, this guy really doesn't know how to take a hint, does he? <laughs> no, I guess not. Winter Dash, Winter Dash, once again you have saved the day! This is the fifth villain that you've taken down in the past week by yourself! How does it feel? Oh, it's nothing. It's all in a day's work. You know, I'm just doing what I meant to do. Um... Yeah, I helped too. Yeah, and Speed Flame also helped. Yeah, yeah, that's great, kid. But anyways, back to you, Winter Dash. Everyone has been wondering, what is your favorite topping on a sandwich? Oh, well, I'd have to say ham. Whoa, John, look at this. They posted the fight with Phantom Clown all over the news, and they're loving us. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw that earlier today. Really happy for you, Sam. Yeah, we did such a great job together. Uh-huh, yeah, together. Oh, hi, Sam. Oh, hey, Jennifer. Um, so look, I might be throwing a party tonight, and I would be so, so happy if you maybe decided to show up. Oh, a party? Wow, wow that sounds like a whole lot of fun. Uh, oh, uh, who are, who are you? I'm a... John, I'm Sam's twin. Oh, I didn't realize Sam had a twin. Uh, but I'm so sorry. I'm really asking only Sam to come, so. Oh, well, I only want to go if my brother can tag along. I mean, he is my twin after all. Uh, I guess. Cool. Yeah, we'll see you there. Okay, see you later, Sam. And bye. I want to say Jack. Anyways, bye. Well, Brookhaven seems pretty quiet tonight. I don't understand. Sam keeps getting the credit for everything we do together. It's so frustrating. Literally, we both work together as a team and he gets all the credit. And it's like no one even knows I exist. Whatever, I'm not gonna let this get to me. You just have to get used to it. Sam is the star. I'm just the sidekick. Help! Help! Oh my gosh, someone's in trouble. Will you shut up and give me your money? No, please, leave me alone! Hey, why don't you listen to her and leave her alone? Oh yeah, and what are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna do this. Oh! oh my god, thank you so much, and wait, <laughs> Sam? Oh, you're the superhero, thank you so much! Um, it's actually me, Jennifer, it's John. Uh, thanks, but I'm, I'm really not Sam. I'm John, his twin. Oh, Sam, you have such a great sense of humor. Oh, you always make me laugh. You know, I have to go, but I'll see it at my party. Oh my gosh, you don't even know who I am. This is ridiculous. John, Sam, how are your days? Today was great. I got an A++ on my exam, which is even better than an A. We made it on the news for defeating Phantom Clown, and I even saved a cat from a tree. That's great, Sam. I'm extremely proud of you. And John, what about you? <sighs> my day was okay, I guess. 
Nothing really special happened for me. I, I don't know. I just don't want to talk about it. You seem to never want to talk about it. John, I don't know what to do with you. Sam is doing all of these great things, but you're just sitting here acting lazy. Why don't you be more adventurous and motivated like your brother? Seriously? You're joking, right? Do I sound like I'm joking? Whatever, you just wouldn't understand. None of you understand. It's always Sam this, Sam that, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Whatever, this place is so lame. You know what, I need to get some air. You know what, if Sam wants to take the spotlight all himself, he can have it. I'm done being a hero. I don't want to be Speed Flame anymore. I just want to be John or something. I'll just put away my costume and no one will ever see me again. I never get recognized for anything. I don't even get appreciated by my family. Everyone always remembers who wins first place. No one cares about second place. Yeah, that's it. I'm done being a hero. Done being a hero? <laughs> Phantom Clown, what do you want? I couldn't help but overhear you crying like a baby. I am attracted to misery after all. <laughs> Just leave me alone, you creepy clown. Well, my friend, it's funny. I always thought you would make a great villain. Really? Of course. It's so much fun. All you have to worry about is yourself, making you happy, doing what you want. And the best part is, everyone remembers the villain, yes. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I'm used to stopping villains, not being one. You're already halfway there, my friend. So what do you say? Would you join me? Oh, I've got nowhere else to go. No one else seems to care. Yes, and no one's going to care about you. Now use that anger and become the villain you were always meant to be. <laughs> I don't know if I really want to do this. Being a villain? Well, it's never crossed my mind before, but I don't know. I'm so sick of everything. Maybe this will make me feel better. Maybe it'll make everyone think I'm a terrible person. Whatever, I don't really care. Not today, villain. You're not gonna rob this bank. Wait, John? Oh, of course it's you, Sam. Coming in to save the day and be a hero yet again. Wait, you're not robbing this bank, are you? So what if I am? What are you gonna do about it? Well... I'd have to stop you, of course. Why are you doing this? I'm tired of being in your shadow, Sam. It's always about you, and no one cares about me. So I'm finally doing stuff that I want to do. This isn't the right way to go about it, okay? You need to stand down. This isn't the right thing to do. I'm sick of you telling me what to do. John, I'm really sorry, but I have to do this. Oh, I'm so sick of you! I hate you! I never wanted a twin brother! You're ruining my life! John, stop! Mom! Mom, John has completely lost it! We have to do something! Sam, what did he do this time? He was trying to rob a bank! He's completely turned into a villain! Oh. Um, well, it was only a matter of time, to be honest, when he turned into a villain. What? What do you mean? Well, I mean he's not you. And you in the spotlight is much better than John could ever be. So, it only makes sense that he would turn into a villain. Well, we have to do something about it. I finally understand what he's been talking about this whole time. He felt so left out. I need to talk to him and settle this whole thing. Oh, my friend, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Phantom Clown! That's my name! Don't wear it out. Now, Sam, you're coming with me. I'm not going with you, okay? I need to save my brother. I'm not giving you an option. You're coming with me or else. I don't think so. But I do. Black Chaos Magic! <laughs> Man, this doesn't feel right. None of this feels right. I don't know if I'm supposed to be a villain. It's not like I really have a choice, do I? Everybody else did this to me. They pushed me away. No one wanted me to be a hero. 
I don't even want to be a hero anymore. I never asked for this. I never asked for these superpowers or stupid superhero brother. I just don't get it. Hello, Speed Flame. It's me, Banana Man. Yeah, hi, Banana Man. You look down in the dumps. What's wrong? I'm just sick of being a hero, Banana Man. Well, being a hero is not all about that. Sometimes when you're a hero, you have to put yourself last. Put yourself last? What? What are you even talking about? I'm saying that being a hero is all about being selfless and brave. Yeah, that's what everyone keeps telling me. Whatever. No, it's important. You see, everyone else's safety always comes before your own self-desires. Well, good luck with everything. And I have high hopes for your future. You're gonna do great things, Speed Flame. Yeah, okay, great. Thanks, Banana Man. <sighs> Whoa, that guy's so weird. What? What's going on? Uh, hello? Hello, Speed Flame. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> Sam, what's going on, Phantom Clown? You need to prove yourself. This is your final test. Now you know where to find me. See you soon. <laughs> no, I can't believe it. Phantom Clown's up to no good yet again. Oh, I've got to save Sam. Phantom Clown, let me out of here. Oh, no, no, I can't possibly do that. <laughs> what do you want, Phantom Clown? What do you want from me? Oh, it's quite simple. I want your power. <laughs> I'm going to take it all for myself. I learned a new spell, and I'm going to take your power from you. You can't do that. And now that your brother is on my side, nobody's going to stop me. <laughs> well, I changed my mind. Phantom <laughs> Clown. John, you came. I knew you'd come save me. Well, of course, Sam. We're twins. I kind of knew you were in trouble. I'm really sorry. I've been acting like a total jerk lately. Yeah, you kind of were. I'm sorry. I was just being selfish. I didn't realize that being a superhero isn't about being in the spotlight, you know? It's about doing what's right and saving people when they're in trouble. And things like that. Yeah, well, I'm glad you finally figured it out. And I'm sorry, too. I should have given you more credit. You're a great superhero. I couldn't do this without you. And I couldn't do it without you either. So, do you forgive me? Of course I forgive you. You're my brother. Seriously, man? Did you think we weren't gonna stop you? Yeah, come on, dude. This is sad. Aw, oh, man. I needed this last heist. Come on, I really need this money. You, you, you can't stop me. Can you, can you just let me go this one time? Of course not. We have to stop you. No! Seriously, these people never learn. Woodyardash, Woodyardash, once again, you have taken down another robber. What do you have to say about this? I'd have to say I didn't do this by myself. I had Speed Flame who helped me, and I couldn't have done it without my brother. Brother? Uh, Speed Flame is your brother? Uh, yeah. We're twin brothers, actually. Superhero twins? Oh, wow. This is a better story than I ever could have imagined. Yeah, I'm Winter Dash, and this is my brother, Speed Flame. And I can't do anything without him by my side. I really hope this anniversary picnic goes well. I'm so excited. I love Emma so much. I just really hope everything goes well. I hope she appreciates this whole picnic I set up. Oh my goodness, Xavier, look at this. Everything you've done for me, wow, like this is amazing. Good, I'm glad. Listen, I wanted to talk to you about plans for our future. Uh, oh, uh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I think it's it's finally time that we we discuss what the future of us is like. Look, like I'm really really sorry, but I actually have to break up with you. Oh, this is awkward. I'm sorry. I think I I misunderstood. 
you said you needed to break up with me? Yeah, because Xavier, it's like too dangerous to be with you. There's always like super villains coming after you and they'll kidnap me. And like, that's not really what I want to do for the rest of my life. So like, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, we got to break up. Sure, sure. Definitely, definitely. But, but I save you every time, don't I? I mean, it's not that dangerous because I always save the day. <laughs> of course. Look. Yeah, like, that's great and all, but, like, I'd rather not get kidnapped at all. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I I just, I can't be the girlfriend to a superhero. I just can't. Okay, well, listen, listen. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll protect you from ever even being kidnapped in the first place. It'll be easy. We don't have to deal with any of that stuff anymore. But, like, you've said that before, and I kind of don't believe you anymore. So, like, really sorry, but we're over. Have a great life. No, Emma, please. I really miss Emma. I can't believe she broke up with me. For being a superhero. I've got to get my mind off of this. Hey, maybe stopping a robbery is just what I need to make me feel better. Wait, Emma? With Firehawk? No, it can't be. I can't believe she'd break up with me to be with a supervillain. And not any supervillain, but my arch nemesis, Firehawk. She knows that he's my number one enemy. I can't believe she'd do this to me. Stop right there, Firehawk. Emma, what is going on here? What are you doing with him? Well, if it is an extinguisher, the dumbest superhero around. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Can't you see we're like robbing a bank? I can't believe you do this. Well, how about you believe this? Oh. Ugh, what a sad excuse for a hero. Yeah, I know. This guy's a joke. Come on, let's get out of here. And then Firehawk just threw a fireball at me and completely knocked me out. It was crazy. Oh man, Firehawk is one tough supervillain, that's for sure. Yeah, I just can't believe that Emma would want to be with him. You know? Why would she want to leave a superhero for a supervillain? Well, I mean, Firehawk is one nasty villain. Maybe he's, like, mind-controlling her or something, corrupting her as part of his evil plan. Maybe you're right. Well, if that's the case, then I have to protect Emma at all costs. Well, you gotta do whatever you can to stop Firehawk. He's running around town causing chaos. Chaos, I tell you. Yeah, but I don't think I'm strong enough to take down Firehawk. I mean, he's my number one nemesis, and that's for a reason. You know, we're pretty fairly matched. It's gonna be hard. Well, I could always help you train. I mean, my superpower is just basically throwing bananas around, but they can be tricky. Yeah, that sounds great. You just gotta focus, Extinguisher. Don't let your feelings get the better of you. You gotta get a clear head and focus and take down Firehawk no matter what. Okay, thank you, Banana Man. That helped a lot. Of course, I'm always here to help you. Oh my gosh. Zapdra, it's just been, like, so awesome dating a supervillain. Uh, really? Uh, how so? Oh my gosh, I get free stuff, like, all the time. Well, uh, did you ever think that just maybe that free stuff has actually been stolen? I, I don't think this is a good idea. Oh, come on. You just don't know him like I do. I doubt that he would steal anything. I mean, like, he just loves me. And, like... I don't know, you're probably just jealous, and that's why you're saying all these hateful things. What? Jealous? No, I I'm not jealous. I'm just looking out for you. Dating a supervillain is not cool. You're just stupid, and you know what? I can't be friends with someone who can't support me anymore. Support you? But Emma, I'm just trying to warn you, okay? No, it sounds like you're being a hater, and I don't have room for that in my life. Fine, whatever. Just watch out. I know you're gonna regret it. Jealousy is an ugly color on you. <laughs> oh man, this is fun. I had no idea how this house would burn down so easy. Oh, those poor people, when they come back from vacation, they'll have no idea their house is gone. <laughs> Firehawk, stand down. Ugh, what do you want, extinguisher? Can't you see I'm busy? I don't care, Firehawk. You need to stay away from my girlfriend. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, Extinguisher, you are funny. Seriously, quit your job as a hero. Be a comedian. It's great. It's great. Emma's not your girlfriend anymore, dude. Yeah, that might be true, but I still care about her, okay? And you need to stay away from her. You're an awful person. <laughs> Maybe I am, but your girlfriend seems to like me a lot. She's with me now, not you. Well, you go cry some more. Now go over there. See that little corner? Go cry over there. <laughs> Are you trying to get me mad? You don't want to see me when I'm mad. Oh, what are you going to do, little baby? Cry some more? Pfft, pathetic. No, I'm going to do this. <laughs> you idiot. I run at a temperature of 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Ice doesn't affect me anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> Take this, loser. Oh, man, this is just sad. So sad. Poor little extinguisher can't even put out a flame. <laughs> I'll get my payback soon. I just can't wait to see what more great stuff I'm going to get from Axel. I've been waiting all day for him to come back. Hey, Emma. Oh, man, you're looking great today. Wow, Axel, you are so sweet. Yeah, I'm a sweet guy. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, tomorrow I should probably just go blow up the moon or something, you know, just for you. Oh, my gosh, Axel. That is like the most romantic thing I have ever heard in my entire life. Hey, what can I say? I'm a romantic guy at heart. Hey, speaking of... I've actually got a surprise for you. Oh my gosh, a surprise? What is it? I'm dying to know. Meet me later over by our favorite spot at the lake. Okay, but like, what's the surprise? Well, it's not really a surprise if I tell you what it is. Oh yeah, <laughs> silly me. I guess you're right. Oh my gosh, Axel, I just love you so much. <laughs> yeah, I know, I love me too. Say, I am actually a, a little late. I gotta go cause some chaos, you know. I'll see you later. Our spot at the lake. Don't forget. Bye, Axel. My training with Banana Man has helped a lot. I think I'm finally prepared to fight Axel again and finally defeat him. <laughs> Wait, what's that smell? It smells like something's burning. It must be Axel. Wait, what's he doing with that woman outside the ice cream shop? Huh, what's he up to? Hey, Zaptra, I got a surprise for you. Here, this is for you. Wow, is this really a rock from the moon? <laughs> yeah, you know it. I flew up there earlier today. I thought this was pretty. I was like, eh, maybe Zaptra will like this, you know? Well, I absolutely love it. This is amazing. This is the sweetest thing that anyone has ever given me. I know, I know. I'm a great guy. <laughs> Axel has been cheating on Emma with Zaptra? Zaptra is Emma's best friend. I can't believe Axel would do this to her. I have to go tell her. Emma, Emma, are you home? We have to talk. Oh my gosh, Xavier. Like enough is enough. I'm so done talking to you. Like we're broken up. Can you just go away? No, you need to listen. It's important. I need to tell you something before it's too late. Look, I don't want to hear it, okay? Like, I kind of don't care about you anymore. Emma, please, just listen to me. Extinguisher! Extinguisher! Oh, man! Oh, I'm so glad I found you. I was running around like wild. What's wrong, Banana Man? There's trouble downtown. We need your help. Okay, I'll, I'll help you out. But, Emma, we really need to talk about this later. No, how about you just don't come back, okay? Emma, please, just give me a chance to talk to you. It's really important. Look, I've given you enough chances, Xavier. Now go, like, save the town or whatever over this. Oh, my gosh. I just can't wait to see what surprise Axel has for me. Oh, I'm so excited. And this is, like, my favorite spot in all of Brookhaven. I love being here, and I love Axel. Oh. Hey, Emma, how's it going? I'm so good now that you're here. Yeah, I'll admit, it's pretty great to be around me. <laughs> but listen, we gotta talk about something uh, pretty serious. 
Oh my gosh, what is it? Is your cat Jasper okay? Yeah, Jasper's fine, but I just gotta break up with you, that's all. Wait, what? Yeah, see, the thing is, I've actually been dating Zapter this whole time, and two girlfriends is just a lot, and I'm really not that interested in you, so I'm choosing Zapter. Oh my gosh, I just, I can't believe it. My boyfriend is breaking up with me to be with my best friend. Like, I, I can't handle it. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, but don't forget, Zapter is actually a superhero. She's got superpowers. I'm breaking up with you for a superhero. You don't have powers. You're kind of lame, actually. Oh my gosh. How could you say that? <laughs> I'm out of here. I've been so focused on trying to get back with Emma that I've forgotten how to be a proper superhero. I think I need to focus on training harder and becoming a better superhero. That way I can take down Firehawk once and for all. Oh my gosh. Hey, Xavier. What's going on? Oh, hey, Emma. Look, like I'm really, really sorry about everything that's been going on. Like, I... I don't know, I, I kind of miss us, don't you? Yeah, of course I miss us. I care about you a lot, you know, and I just want you to be happy and safe. So like, do you want to get back together? Cause I've been thinking, like you're the best boyfriend I've ever had. And like, I, I don't know, you just make my life so much better. That's sweet. But I don't think we can be together anymore. You know, I've been thinking about it a lot and I care about you a lot, and I would love to be with you, but I really need to focus on being a better hero, you know? And, and I want you to be safe, and you were right. Being with me is dangerous. But please, Xavier, like, come on. I miss the excitement, and, like, I'm such a good support system, so, like, I can help you become a better hero. Emma, I've made up my mind, okay? I'm sorry, but it's just not gonna work out. I can't believe you. You've changed. Yeah, I have. Well, I don't like it. You're lame. Bye.